Come see the wonders of our God, how glorious are your ways. In Moses' hand you put your rod, and cleave the frightened seas. Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me, and thank you. This is morning prayer for Friday, June the 21st, and it is the fourth week after Pentecost and week five in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 88 and 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1 to 21. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, O Most High God of my salvation. Let my prayer come before you. Alleluia, Psalm 88. Alleluia, O Most High, O God of my salvation. I have cried day and night. Let my prayer come before you. Bend your ear to me. For my soul is full of troubles and my life draws near its end. I am counted with them that go down into the grave. I am like one who has no strength, lost among the dead like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no more. They are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps, and your anger lies hard upon me. You have afflicted me with your waves. You have put my friends far from me. You have made me an abomination to them, I am imprisoned and cannot escape. My vision fails me. Daily I have called upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the dead raise, rise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave or your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried, my God, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. My God, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? From my youth I have been afflicted and near death. I suffer your terrors, and I am distracted. And your fierce wrath goes over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me daily like a flood and circle about me together. Lover and friend, you have put far from me, and my companion is darkness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O Most High God of my salvation, let my prayer come before you. Alleluia. The lesson is from the first book of Samuel, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Now the boy, Samuel, was ministering to the Most High under Eli. And the word of the Most High was rare in those days, and visions were not widespread. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his room. And the lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Most High, where the ark of God was. And then the Most High cried, Samuel, Samuel. And he said, Here I am. And he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But Eli said, I did not call you. Lie down again. So Samuel went and lay down. The Most High called again, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you have called me. But Eli said, I did not call my son, lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Most High, and the word of the Most High had not yet been revealed to him. The Most High called Samuel again a third time. And Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you have called me. Then Eli perceived that the Most High was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, Go and lie down, 
And if God calls you, you shall say, Speak, God, for your servant is listening. And so Samuel went and lay down in his place. Now the Most High came, and he stood there, calling as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. And the Most High said to Samuel, See, I am about to do something in Israel that will make both ears of anyone who hears of it tingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house from beginning to end. For I have told him that I am about to punish his house forever for the iniquity that he knew because his sons were blaspheming God and he did not restrain them. Therefore I swear to the house of Eli that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be expiated by sacrifice or offering forever. Samuel lay there until morning, and then he opened the doors of the house of the Most High. Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli, but Eli called him and said, Samuel, my son, and he said, Here I am. Eli said, What was it that God told you? Do not hide it from me. May God do so to you and more also if you hide anything from me of all that he told you. So Samuel told him everything and hid nothing. And he said, It is the Most High. Let him do what seems good to him. And as Samuel grew up, the Most High was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all of Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel was a trustworthy prophet of the Most High. The Most High continued to appear at Shiloh, for the Lord himself revealed, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by his own word. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church, that it may be filled with truth and love, and found without fault at the day of your coming. For all of our church leaders and for all clergy and ministers. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease. For peace in Jerusalem and in all the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For those in positions of public trust, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and the freedom of every person. For this congregation, for those who are present and those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do for the poor, the persecuted, the sick, for all who suffer, for prisoners and refugees, that they may be relieved and protected. For the mercy of God community and for the Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia. For George and Walter Arthur and Tom and for all who died. That God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Bend your ear to us, dear God, and accept our thanks in the morning. Have compassion on us, save us, for you are the God of our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. 
And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs>